In this video we're going to look at how we get information from pie charts. This is what we call interpreting pie charts, getting information from them when they're already drawn. Okay, in this pie chart, it's already been drawn for us, it's about the favourite drinks from year 7s and year 8s. In part A, we can see that we've already been told 100 pupils like lemonade best. So we know there's 100 people in here, 100 pupils, 100 of you lot in this angle. We also want to know, first question, how many pupils took part in the survey? Okay, so we know there's 360 degrees. First thing we need to do is get a protractor out and measure that. And when you do, you should find that that is 100 degrees. So if you put your protractor up to the screen, hopefully that should work, you should see that's 100 degrees. So we know, so we know that there's 100 people in here. We know it's 100 degrees. So we know that one person is one degree. 360 degrees in the full circle. So there's 360 people surveyed in this. It's a pretty straightforward one. How many people like water, milk, cola, shandy? What we need to do is measure each of these. And that will tell us how many people there are. If we needed to find out how many people, it's always the angle divided by the number of people. Okay, angle divided by number of people. That will tell you how many degrees for each person. So if, for instance, in this question, we'd been told that was 200 people in there, then it's 100 degrees for, for two people, so each person would be half a degree. If we were told up here that this was 50 people, then it would be 50 people in here. 100 degrees, so it would be 100 degrees divided by 50. So each person would have been 2 degrees all the way around. I think if you go around you should find that water is 60 degrees, so it's 60 people. Milk is 120 degrees, so that's 120 people. And I think, if I remember correctly, that that is 45 degrees for Shandy and 35 degrees for Cola. Okay, there's a couple of other questions after this, but what you've got to remember is that you'll be told a piece of information, you need to measure the angle, and then you need to do the angle divided by the number of people. Okay. A couple of other questions here. Question two, very similar to question, the first question, the example I just did. Question three is a little bit trickier. And two more questions. Again, a little bit trickier again. 